Now to new information at five about the migrant crisis here in Denver. Take a look at this. The number of migrants coming to the Mile High City is drastically decreasing. All right, take a look. You can see that the drop off started back here. This is the high point in January, and here it is right now. The number of migrants in shelter here is now under a thousand, down more than 80 percent from this time two months ago. Now the city's about to make some major changes in how it handles migrants. New today, the Mile High City announcing it's about to stop responding to the migrant crisis with an emergency response and instead move to what the city deems a long term sustainable response. This coming from Sarah Plastino, the newcomer program director. My priority coming into this job is that we are transitioning this response to one that is more fiscally sustainable. Um, smaller in scale in terms of dollar amounts, and the mayor has said that publicly. That is his goal. Plastino would not tell us what that new response plan entails, but she makes it clear Denver wants to stop spending so much money. The city has already spent more than $61 million on migrants, and to make up for it, has cut services, including those with Parks and Rec in the DMV. The city is now decommissioning shelters and limiting how much time migrants can stay in them, that tops out at 42 days. As a result, hundreds are forced out every week, nearly 500 this week alone. The city says they are not pushed into the streets and left to be homeless. Instead, most work with the city and nonprofits for transitional and long term housing. There's also the issue of migrant encampments. One of the few that remains is right here by Elitch Gardens. Today, the city gave notice that it'll clear out tents in one week. The city says it has shelter space and has offered beds to everyone camping here. But Plastino says the migrants have told the city thanks, but no thanks. We are doing everything we can to assure that those folks have safe options available to them. At the end of the day, they're individuals with their own decision making abilities and they can decline to accept our offer, um, but it's not for lack of trying. Again, the city of Denver has spent more than $61 million helping migrants since they started coming here back in January of 2023. It's been reimbursed the three and a half million from the state, 1.6 million from the federal government. And Mayor Mike Johnston has said this could end up costing the city $180 million this year.